Good morning, Elise, and thank you so much for your time today. No worries. Uh, we would uh, like to ask you about your experience with KBA and how our services have assisted you over the last year or two that you've been with us. And I believe that uh, last year you had an unfortunate issue with a staff member. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what your experience was like with, uh, with that situation yeah. and how you contacted KBA? Without going into, obviously, personal details, um, the staff member, just out of the blue, very strangely to me, became very unhappy with her job um, and instead of um, making decisions to move on, decided that it would be easier to make my life quite difficult. So... Um, in the first instance, I called the, just the hotline at KBA and was given some really good advice that um, I suppose took us to the next level, which meant that um, I felt very confident from the, from day one that all my communications that I was putting forward in this what was quite a tenuous situation um, had been looked over and the emotion taken out that I otherwise would have added to the situation. So, um, yeah, initially just called and, and had some top-line conversations with um, with Marie. And, um, yeah, that gave me really good direction as to how to handle the, the process moving forward. Unfortunately, it didn't end there, <laughs> but I was on the tra on the right track right from the word go. So it was really good to be able to make that call early in the piece. So that's excellent. So with um, moving on, you said that it escalated from there. So you then had to recontact KBA and get the additional assistance, which I believe Jess helped you out on at some occasions. Yeah, well. that's right, and um, and it was really useful because the the thing, the way that was that I ended up handling it because I was still obviously the front person for um, the speaking with the employee uh, it was totally different to the way that I would have handled it if it was just left to my own devices, not from bad intentions, but I just don't have the knowledge, obviously, that you guys do. Um, and the, the background and, and the ability to take the emotion out of the situation. So one thing that was really useful is um, my initial goal was to try and repair the situation um, and that was kind of the track that I was on from day one and um, a really useful suggestion was given to do some um, personality testing kind of stuff and see if we could you know, repair things that way. So it was really great to be able to say, okay, there's a, there's a problem, I'm addressing the problem, I can show that I'm addressing the problem um, and then I'm, I'm prepared to do this to, to kind of work through it and that gave me a lot of confidence that if anything did go further, I could illustrate right from the word go that I had the right intentions, which I, which I did. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, the, the process that you were given was a simple and easy to follow, step-by-step -step process with the correct forms in place, etc. Yeah. that you already had? Yeah, and even to the point where... Um, I was afforded the opportunity of having my emails kind of, I suppose, vetted for one of a different word, but just I would construct something because I had obviously all the facts and then send it to KBA. They would you proofread and say, maybe take this bit out and word it this way, which is really, really useful um, to have that, that third person look over it who's got the knowledge of the legal side of things. So it gave you that protection and a protection about what you were doing in relation to no further... Uh, dismissal claims. Or correct, else, correct. Or and I think at the end, my situation ended up um, going all the way to the point where I had uh, to get a lawyer involved. And one of the first things that the lawyer said to me was, um, which I would never have understood, but whenever these things come to a head, um, if it, you know, it can be he said, she said kind of stuff, but all the employer really needs to make sure they've done is demonstrate that they've afforded the employee the opportunity um, to re-engage and do the right thing. And because of the concrete steps that KBA had told me to, to go through, I was really easily able to do that. So it made the lawyer's job very easy and also probably ended up costing me far less than it would have from the legal perspective yeah, um, because they charge a lot per hour. So it was nice to be able to turn up and go, this is what I've done, and then he just had to take it to that next level. So overall then, the matter was resolved with the best outcome for you and your business? Well, in the situation, yeah. It's obviously yeah. not ideal to ever go through anything like that, especially when you are um, don't see it coming, you're not obviously not planning for it. But mm -hmm. um, once the situation presented itself, yeah, I'm, I'm really felt like I went to a bit of a, a course in how to handle things and I would have and that exposure was given to me by dealing with KBA so it was fantastic. Terrific. So overall how would you rate your experience with KBA? Yeah really highly. It's one of those things like you know you have a, a, a relationship that's probably dormant most of the time but it's just when you need it it's great to be able to pick up the phone. It's like insurance. It's great. You don't need it when you don't need it. It's like insurance to be able to pick up the phone and say 
I'm having an issue now and let's deal with that from day one. Excellent. So would you recommend uh, KBA services to mobile lenders and other business owners? Yeah, and I have to quite a few and I think a lot have got on board and I've, I've been a good experience as to what not to happen <laughs> and out of adversity has, you know, there's always something that, we, that comes out of it. So, yeah. Okay, so just one last thing. Uh, with moving forward, you do look at uh, rebuilding your business yes. and recruiting again. Yes. With the processes now that you've learnt from that yes. experience, you understand that the process is moving forward a, a great foundation to start with then. And yeah, and forward. I would do things differently now. I, you know, I would even, um, I suppose, out of all of this, I would still look at even doing the personality testing, but right up front. Um, and more so just to say, this is how I work, and I'm the owner of the business, and I'm the manager, and you're going to be working with me daily, and I'm not going anywhere. So let's just be clear about this is how I operate, and you need to decide right from day one if that's going to work for you, because... Um, you can't win everybody, but if you can be upfront about how you operate, then I think that's really helpful when you're employing. So I would take it a step further and, and get KB, KBA involved potentially before I even um, interviewed someone. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and I know that your uh, time's precious. We really appreciate your comments. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.